بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين السلام عليكم brothers and sisters i hope you are well over 30 countries worldwide have now legalized same sex marriage and countries like the US and UK top the chart for gathering the highest support for the same sex marriages the countries that oppose such marriages are definitely the islamic nations and some orthodox christian countries being a muslim one can argue that this fact is nothing new as muslims know for sure that same sex couples are indeed the people who commit one of the major sins in islam so it is obvious that the muslim nation will not legalize such a thing But in today's age when immorality has spread so much should we blindly trust the muslims in this matter maybe no a video of a muslim gay nikah is going around the internet where two men are performing this act under the supervision of an imam the two men are seen holding hands while the imam is reciting surah fatiha to bless their marriage what is stranger is that in the video muslim guests are also seen and both men are wearing the traditional outfit of the groom Astaghfirullah Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alamin Arrahmanir Rahim Maliki Yawmiddin Iyyaka na'budu wa iyyaka nasta'in Ihdinas siratal mustaqim Siratal ladina an'amta alayhim Ghayril maghdub While the place and time of the video could not be verified one cannot deny that a gay muslim nikah is being performed This is only one instance that has come to light. There are innumerable stories of Muslims themselves claiming to be a part of the LGBTQ community and also labeling them as proud Muslims. Unfortunately, in 2020, the Tunisian LGBTQ rights community announced that Tunisia had given permission for same-sex marriage and had become the first Arab country to do so. In the year 2017, a gay Muslim marriage was held in the UK. and the couple organized a lavish wedding ceremony to celebrate their wedding several so called muslim websites give false information to their viewers stating that homosexuality was never forbidden in islam and that the sin that the people of lut alaihi salam committed was something that is relative term that everyone understands as one wishes to our viewers who are watching this video we as a dawa channel want to clearly educate you that homosexuality never was never is and never will be accepted in Islam even if you hear it from the words of a seemingly educated Islamic scholar or even an imam or a hafiz of Quran never ever have an ounce of doubt about it Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran walladhina hum li furujihim hafidun illa ala azwajihim aw ma malakat aymanuhum fa innahum ghayr malumin فمن ابتغى وراء ذلك فاولئك هم العادون This is the sign of the end times brothers and sisters the time has come that we need to hold the book of Allah more firmly than ever the times have arrived when immorality and shamelessness are celebrated and cheered upon the times have arrived that our beloved prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam feared the most the prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam said There is nothing I fear for my ummah more than the deed of the people of Lut. Allahu Akbar. May Allah Subhanahu wa Ta'ala guide the Muslim ummah. May Allah Subhanahu wa Ta'ala safeguard us against the evils of society. Amen. That's it for today brothers and sisters. I hope you liked the video. Let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. We would love to hear from you. Hit the thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel, turn on the notification bell, share this video with your family and friends. Until next time, Assalamu Alaikum.